So here we've got a nonprofit governance problem with very real world impacts and consequences. I told the cemetery superintendent about the governor's then recent executive order that made a limited pandemic related exception to the not for profit corporation law to allow annual meetings of members to be held remotely or by electronic means, for instance, on the, on the Zoom platform. Prior to that uh, exception, uh, uh, pursuant to executive order, we're gonna get into more detail on that in a minute, uh, uh, member meetings could only be held in person. Board meetings, on the other hand, could be held by phone or video conference. So if I want to be invited back to uh, state bar association uh, future CLEs, um, I can't repeat the superintendent's response to my offer of the virtual meeting option. Um, and frankly, I, I certainly uh, understood his response and probably would have had the same response uh, if I was sitting in his seat. Under the circumstances that prevailed, even a lot owners meeting via Zoom was too much to pull off. Preparing for organizing and running such a meeting in the midst of a very real calamity was inconceivable. We reached out to the New York State Division of Cemeteries and uh, they're the regulatory authority that's part of the Department of State that, uh, that regulates cemeteries and they in fact confirmed that there, there was no special dispensation available that would authorize the postponement of the annual meeting, which again was hardwired to a date certain as required uh, uh, under the, 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 um, the cemetery law uh, and, and per provision in the certificate of incorporation. So notwithstanding the mandatory legal requirement at play, notwithstanding the breach a fiduciary duty by each member of the board of directors that not holding the required annual meeting would entail, the cemetery corporation did in fact postpone its annual meeting. 